Today during science, we're going to start reading our Water and Climate FOSS Science textbook. I'm going to use my page finder and turn to page 3. On page 3, we're reading a fake report written by an alien, this guy. He's seeing planet Earth for the first time. Here's a view of the Pacific Ocean on Earth and a view of the Atlantic Ocean on Earth. If you were seeing Earth for the first time, what do you think you would notice? There's a lot of what color? A report from the Blue Planet. 2. Chief of Science, Home Planet. From Interplanetary Science Office. Fleet 2087. So this is obviously a fake report, but it's going to give us an idea of what it would be like to see Earth for the first time. Greetings from the blue planet mentioned in my last report. We have been exploring the planet as directed. Now we know why it looks blue from space. Almost three quarters of the planet's surface is covered by water. In all our planet explorations, this is the first water planet we have discovered. Here's what we have learned so far. 97% of the planet's water is in its huge ocean of salt water. Our first view of the blue planet was almost all ocean. When we flew around to the other side, we saw that there is dry land, too. So they must have seen the Pacific Ocean at first, and it looks all blue. From the Atlantic side, you see more land, but... The majority of Earth is covered with water, salt water to be exact. The rest of the planet's water is fresh water. That means only 3% of the water is free of salt. And about two-thirds of the fresh water is solid ice. That leaves just 1% of the planet's water as liquid fresh water. So even though Earth is covered by so much water, the majority of the water we can't really use. Only 1% of the water is fresh water that we can drink. So if this is the ocean, the ocean is salt water. We cannot drink salt water. It is too salty. Plants also don't like it very much. Liquid fresh water is found in many places. A lot of the water is underground. The rest of the fresh water is on the planet's solid surface. We see it in lakes and rivers. All the plants and animals on the blue planet need water to stay alive. The people living there use water in many ways. They use it for cooking, washing, drinking, and growing food. Do you think water is important for us people that live on Earth? What do we use water for? We have observed water in three states on the planet. It is the only material found naturally on this planet in all three states. Water can be solid ice, liquid water, and a gas called water vapor. Water vapor is in the air. There is more water in the air than in all the rivers on the planet. We will find out more about water vapor for our next report. As you can see, water is an amazing material. It is in the ocean, in lakes and rivers, in the ground, and in the air. It is everywhere. Did you know water is everywhere? Ice is solid water. Water is liquid. And then water vapor is water that's in gas form that's in the air. So here's a chart looking at the Earth's water. Almost all of it is salt water, 97%. The rest is fresh water, but 2% of that is ice. And this is the 1% that's liquid that we can use. Here are some pictures of water on Earth. Did you know water looks blue because it reflects from the sun? Water is not actually blue. So the 1% of the water we use is liquid, and it's in the Earth's lakes, rivers, and underground 
called groundwater. The blue shows you where the fresh water is. Tell me something you learned about water in your seesaw assignment today. Why do you think water is so important?